Okay, so um, today we're going to do a practice. It's normally 30 minutes, but uh, we're going to condense it into 10 minutes. So it, it moves um, fairly quickly. It will keep your mind busy. Uh, it's called breath, body, sound, thoughts. So it's taking some of the skills um, that we you've probably practiced before this week, but also that we've practiced together this week and kind of integrates them into one meditation. So I'll let you just uh, get yourself settled. Um, I'm not sure if the image of a pond that's perhaps been stirred up by a storm or agitated and then is now sort of at ease and calm and just imagine all those little particles floating to the bottom of the pond or whatever body of water you prefer, perhaps it's the ocean. So just imagine that happening within your body as you settle into this practice. So we'll start by turning our attention, reminding ourselves to do so if it's available with kindness and curiosity towards our experience. So turning our attention to the breath. Noticing when I ask you to turn the attention to your breath, where your attention goes perhaps. Again, it's to the nostrils following the sensation of the breath passing through the nostrils as you breathe your air, air in, pausing at the top of the breath and breathing out. Perhaps you notice the rise and fall of the chest. or even the expansion, almost like a balloon, 360 degrees in space of the belly. Expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. So in times of stress, it's always helpful to, without forcing it, but just try to breathe into the belly that activates our rest and digest nervous system. It also tends to lengthen the breath. The breath is always available to us in every moment, so it can be a really good anchor for your everyday mindfulness practice. Whether you're formally sitting in meditation or going about your day. Where is your mind now? Most likely it's wandered off to remembering the past or planning for the future. And that's fine. That's what the mind does. But see if you can just notice that you are thinking. And then very gently and with ease, bring your attention back to your breath. Following the inhale as Air moves into the body and exhale as air moves out of the body.
And if you like expanding your focus of the breath to the entire body. So as if the entire body right here, right now is breathing in and breathing out. Imagining the whole body expanding with the inhale, taking in fresh oxygen. And then exhaling carbon dioxide and any tension that you don't need to hold on to anymore. <laughs> We'll now shift our attention to the different parts of the body, seeing if as we go we can notice any sensations in the body and they might be pleasant or unpleasant or perhaps neutral and see if we can just observe those sensations without pushing them away or getting too attached to them. Just holding them in our awareness. So notice where your feet are in space. Perhaps they're touching the floor or resting on your couch. Just noticing any sensations in the feet. Maybe you're noticing different temperature sensations or tingling, perhaps some tension or neutrality. Moving our attention to the legs. Noticing any sensations in your legs right now. Scanning the right leg and the left leg. Noticing when you start to judge those sensations. That's okay, that's the brain's tendency. Seeing if you can just gently pull back from that and just be aware of the sensations without judgment. This doesn't mean we can't shift the body around as we're meditating. Um, that's fine. We want everyone to be comfortable. Bringing our sensations to the seat, or sorry, bringing our awareness to the seat and the torso. So the front of the torso, the belly and the chest, and then the back of the torso, the seat, the lower back, middle back, upper back and shoulders. Just noticing any sensations that are present there right now. Bringing our attention to our arms, the right arm, the left arm, Feeling the weight of the arms as they hang from the shoulders and noticing any sensations. Bringing our attention to the right hand and the left hand. Noting any point at which the hands are perhaps touching the furniture, the floor, Perhaps they're resting on your body. Then bringing our attention to the head resting on top of the spine.
Noticing any sensations in the neck, the muscles throughout the front of the face or the back of the skull. And when you're ready, we're going to expand our awareness to our soundscape or the sounds either within the body or outside of the body. Instead of forcing your hearing, see if you can just let the sounds come to you. Noticing the quality of those sounds. Perhaps they're very subtle. Perhaps they're loud. Noticing the tone and the rhythm of those sounds. Noticing how the sounds will come into your awareness and change within your awareness and then perhaps leave your awareness. When you're ready, we'll take that same attitude of awareness and curiosity and observe our thoughts. So similar to the sounds, not forcing any thought, but just noticing thoughts as they enter the landscape of your mind. Seeing if you can notice the quality of those thoughts and hold them in your awareness. And because they are thoughts, they will constantly change, so they may also leave your awareness. And if you notice that your mind starts to hold on to a thought and ride the wave of that thought, see if you can just bring yourself back to that presence or that being that observes the thoughts. See if you can do that without judging yourself for either pushing thoughts away or attaching to them but just returning to that awareness, that stillness inside. When you're ready, you can just release the focus on your thoughts. If it helps you transition back to the space that you're in, you can just follow your breath for one or two or three cycles. 